Do you think video is great, but think, eh, it's not for me? Guess what? This video is for you. On today's episode of Home Care Digital, we're gonna talk about how we can change how you see video and you may become more open to it. Let me ask you, does this sound like you? I don't like the sound of my voice. Or, I'm afraid people will judge me for my accent. Well, here's the thing, and it's so funny because a lot of times I jump on calls with people and they share some of their insecurities and things that they have, and this is one that I hear often, where people don't like the way that they sound and they feel that they maybe they have an accent that makes them different. Well, here's why your excuse is bullshit. I said it, here's the thing. Your accent doesn't stop you from training your staff, does it? Does it stop you from speaking to prospective clients? Does it stop you from marketing to referral sources? So why should it stop you with video? There is no difference. The thing is, people are seeing you and hearing you, right? So there, what's the difference? Oh, it's on video, so now you have to hear it and you don't like the way that you sound? At the end of the day, people are already hearing your accent. Every time you sit down with a client or prospect, they're gonna judge you for your accent because you have an accent. It is, it's you, it's you, your unique self. It's okay, but if we keep using that as an excuse? Are we really going to get the desired results that we want to create? You didn't use that excuse to start your business, so why are you letting it affect you when it comes to video? Think about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold, I'll be back. Where would we be without Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator? I mean, when he got first started in acting, and you can see on the picture here, he was Conan the Barbarian. That was his first role, and so many people told him he'll never make it in show business because of his accent. But he didn't care. He did it anyway. He pushed through it. He pursued his dreams. He put himself out there. He put himself in positions to fail, and he became one of the biggest movie stars in the world. So, if Arnold can do it, you can do it too. Another thing that I often hear is, I don't like how I look. I need to lose some pounds before I get on camera. The same thing applies. How you look doesn't stop you from training your staff. How you look doesn't stop you from speaking to prospective clients. How you look doesn't stop you from marketing to referral sources. So why would it stop you from getting on camera? People, we cannot just keep creating excuses for why video is not for you. Video is for everyone. We just have to get over feeling judged. I get it, I understand. I've been there, I've felt your pain in my first video. I did not want to click the button. I did not want to click that publish button. I watched the video three times and then I just said, you know what, I'm gonna do it, publish. And then it is that moment that dramatically changed the course of my life. Now, I can't promise that it's gonna dramatically change your life like it has me, that inspired me to go into entrepreneurship and pursue my dreams and all these things that came with just showing up on camera. But I can promise you that just by simply doing video will help you grow as a person. It's one of the most amazing things that can happen because it's not easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it, right? The actual recording the video is easy. It's no different, right? You've jumped on FaceTime, you know how to use a camera. It's the part of doing it in a consistent way and being willing to be judged that makes it more difficult. But it's up to you to decide whether or not you're gonna let that hold you back from educating people. You have valuable information that can truly make a difference for so many people and increase the leads that are coming into your business. Move your bottom line. Is that not the goal, right? To generate leads, to impact people, to create a difference? All we have to do is overcome this. But rather than me try and explain how you should do it, why you should do it, I'm gonna let one of my students share his experience and let him motivate you. Hey everyone, Abraham Terrell here. I wanted to pop on here real quick and give a special thanks to a good friend of mine, Nicholas Bontonimus. And he has been an inspiration to me when it comes to filming on the go, post whatever you got, don't worry about what type of content, what type of lighting, what type of trees are behind you and things like that. He just told me to get that content out there, man. And still to this day, I still have issues with it. But every time I talk to my buddy, Nick, he just tells me, don't worry about it. Like, what are you worried about? Like, why does it matter? Like, who cares? Like, you have a business, right? You're going places, right? Like, why would you care about what people think think about you so much to where you wouldn't post this important content that you have. So everybody's got something important to say and that's what Nick has helped me realize that it's not just about the stage fright and getting over talking in front of people and what they'll think about me and what they'll say about me. It's not about that. It's about, do you feel like you have something important to say? Then get on tape and record it and just keep putting it out there. 
put it out there, repetition. Nick has been captivating in his posts and you can see like he started out, he filmed his, his first few videos and it, they weren't perfect, right? Over the months, he got better and better. Of course, you, you, you sit there and you look back at your content and analyze it and what can I do better? What, uh, what can I add to it to make it a little bit better? And uh, I can remember the gestures with the hands, man. I love <laughs> I love Nick so much, man, and him trying to get his hands just right in the picture so that he can express himself and keep it going because hand movements are a game changer for videos. I think a lot of people need to kind of get over that comfort zone and share who they are. You know, videos don't have to be, you know, all this negative garbage you see on Facebook. They could be positive, they could be reinforcing, they could be educational. And Nick's got that light, he's got that fire to help you in whatever you do, kind of ignite that inside of you and to put you on your next step to being a blog expert, just putting out the videos, just slaying it. I love you, Nick, and cheers, bud. You heard him. He's just willing to do it. There's trees in the background. Who cares? He made this video and immediately got results from it. Just not worrying about how it looked or what it did or how people were going to see him or perceive him. He just said, Nick, thanks for your motivation. I'm going to do it. I'm going to post it. I'm going to make it happen. And now he was able to see the results. Literally, someone needed care right then and there, seconds after the post. This is what can happen when we're willing to put ourselves out there. You may post a bunch of stuff on social media. You post your first video, I guarantee you're gonna turn heads. You're gonna notice, people are gonna see, people are gonna be aware of you and your business. Lakeisha, another example, posted her first video, right? She's in her car, she filmed it vertically, which goes against my teachings, but it's all good. She got the results anyway. And so she was willing to post it. She posted on her business page and I had to push her a little bit to post it to her personal page to share it. And uh, But once she did, then it took off. She got a referral from this particular video and that same client continues to message her via Facebook because that's where she posted this video. So it actually became that the communication tool as well as getting that referral. Here's another example. Jenny, she was clueless about getting on video, but it's so amazing what can happen when you do it. I really want to learn how to get on video, but I was scared to death of it. I mean, so many people are scared to death of video. I mean, public speaking is like higher in people's fears than death, which to me is wild. Well, especially because I'm a public speaker, but I do remember when I was scared to present. But when you're able to do it, I posted a few videos of cases during interview and I had a caregiver tell me that she stalked some of my videos. People are watching. If you're willing to put yourself out there, get on camera, amazing things will happen. Let's not overcomplicate it. Just create and post. Create and post. And I'll leave you with this. If you want to win, you have to be willing to be judged by others. Look, we're gonna be judged regardless of what we do. So why not do something that is going to help us to stand out generate more results, generate more leads in our business, and truly make an impact in our community. It's time to overcome that, that fear of being judged. Here's my secret formula, care less. If we can just care a little less about what people think about us and are comfortable with who we are as an individual and what our goals are, people are not gonna judge you for that. And who cares if they do? You're your own person. The only person's opinion that matters of you is you. And so be courageous. Be willing to step out of the light and get in front of people. You will see amazing results, I promise you. And I know these are big promises, but the thing is, just by posting that video, you're gonna feel the growth. You're gonna feel, I was willing to do it. I wasn't afraid. So let me ask you, when's your first video? Do you wanna learn how so many people just like you are getting incredible results on social media? Then you have gotta check out my brand new free training, Social Media Success, where you're gonna learn the five biggest mistakes home care business owners are making and how you can avoid them. All you gotta do is go to the digitalchamps.com slash social and start watching today.